February 23rd, 2024. Just leaving the Amicalola Lodge. We had thunderstorms and showers last night. It's overcast and foggy. It's supposed to clear up and be sunny later. In fact, the weather is supposed to be nice for the next couple days. So it looks like I'll be starting out in good weather. I have about seven and a half miles to the top of Springer Mountain. Just wanted to say I was on the fence whether I would vlog my hike or not. At this point I probably will vlog, I don't know how often. Yesterday I forgot to get the obligatory photo of my tag, but there it is. I'm hiker number 350 for 2024. Quarter of 11, three and a half miles to go to Springer, where I will take a lunch break and I will hike on from there and see where I get. 11 a.m. at a place called Nimble Well Gap. It's quarter 12 and the sun is out, the sky is turning blue. Is there a shelter here? I think it's called Black something Gap, Black Gap shelter just about that's the last shelter just before springer there it is spring them out Peanut butter jelly time. First blaze on the way to me. Top of Springer Mountain, the start of the Appalachian Trail. Only 2,197 more miles to go to the other end. I don't know if I'll make it that far. I don't know if I want to make it that far. I'm not going to say I'm doing it and then disappoint myself. What I'm saying is I'm hiking as long and as far as I want to. And if I really want to stop, I will stop. Why do something and be miserable? I want it to be an enjoyable experience. So I will do it until I don't enjoy it. Now I'm going to stop at the first shelter, get some water at the water source, and then continue on. I'm at the entrance to the first shelter, and there's a water source there, so I'm going over there to get water. It's a spring mountain shelter in camp area it looks like the privy uh a lot of people hike that eight miles to the top and then they stop here for the day but too too early in the day for me and being a little bit more experienced than a lot of people i think i can hike the next two point Oh, two point something miles to the next shelter. Oh, there's a shelter down there, so that's my plan. It's a nice looking shelter. It's tall. Apparently it has a loft she can sleep in. And a nice big picnic table here. And the fire pit. And I think the water is over that way. It's 
really cool section of trail walking through rhododendron and mountain laurel. So they, don't, they call it the Green Tunnel. I guess there's quite a bit of it along the southern end of the H E, but this is pretty much the first time I've run into it. Point one to go to Stover Creek. It's about three o'clock. Mm, Stover Creek shelter. All set up for the first night. Saturday, February 24th. Got my tent about six o'clock last night. Uh, people at the shelter were kind of noisy. So, but I slept off and on. But I didn't wake up till almost 7 o'clock this morning, so I was in my tent about 13 hours. It's hard to video a lot of people around. Anyway, I slept 13 hours, or I was in my tent 13 hours. And I was slow getting ready to go, but there I am. It's 8.30. I'm on the trail. And I'd like to do about 12 miles today. We'll see. This is called Three Forks. I'm not one to add extra mileage by going on side trails, but they say this is worth checking out. There, an extra half mile of hiking, but let's check it out. I don't think it was a quarter mile. And ice coming down. Dark cloud came over and all of a sudden I thought it's snowing but it's more icy. It's like New England. Don't like the weather? Wait a minute. I'm at the Hickory Flats. Uh, down there there's an old cemetery and a shed. There's a little memorial for an old school here. And I'm not doing the side trip because uh, I want to keep moving. Uh, I'm coming towards the Hawk Mountain area. Interesting part about this part section of the trail is it cuts through an army training ground for the army rangers. And at any time there could be soldiers in camouflage hiding in the bushes or shooting their machine guns people wake up at the shelter here at the gunfire all the time and the guidebook says just hike past they they'll ignore you and you have to ignore them and not disrupt their training so maybe i'll see some army men the Gooch Mountain Shelter. Oh. I did not. Oh, I did not video a lot today. I wanted to keep moving. I'm just arriving at the Gooch Mountain Shelter. Somebody told me there's Trail Magic hot dogs here. I hope that's true. Um, 14 mile day. Probably a little too much for the second day out. They say you should do double digits in the first week. I, I think I'm comfortable doing 10. 14 was a little too much. I did it, but unnecessarily. There's our water source. And there's my tent for tonight. Beach Mountain Campsite at the very end. If 
first gear failure. My, my filter bottle is leaking. So the water bag leaks. I can no longer safely filter water. But it's not the end of the world for me. When I get to the next outfitter crossing in about 10 miles, I will get a new filter bag. In the meantime, I have two options. Tonight I'm gonna boil my water, and then I have some chlorine tablets. Chlorine tablets always carry a backup, so I can treat my water, and that'll get me through to Neil Gap, where there's an outfitter, Mountain Crossings, and I can take care of the problem.